Hi, today we're talking about calculus with the use of derivatives. Now we're going to be talking about the chain rule and this is actually quite simple. Uh, basically we've got f of x here equals x to the fourth plus 3x squared minus 2 all to the fifth power. Now the first part that you need to do with the chain rule is find the derivative of this part right here. And so of course you take 4 times x so you get 4x to the third power because you drop the exponent down one plus the second the exponent 2 times 3 is 6 so you're left with 6x and then of course you're uh, since the 2 doesn't have an exponent you're just gonna leave it there and now you're going to multiply that by this exponent right here so you're going to multiply that by 5 and then you're going to multiply that by the original function right here so x to the fourth plus 3x squared minus 2 and the only difference is you're going to drop this down one power so that's going to be to the fourth now to simplify this we're going to multiply this five by the four x cubed so you're going to get twenty x cubed plus thirty x times x to the fourth plus 3x squared minus 2 all to the fourth power. Now you can break this down even more. Uh, most teachers could probably, would probably let you leave it like that but if you wanted to break it down even further you could take a 10x out of this. Uh, so you get 10x times 2x squared because 2x squared times 10x is going to give you 20x cubed plus 3x times the rest of this it's going to give you x to the fourth plus 3x squared minus 2 all to the fourth power and so the derivative of this function, how you're going to write that is f prime of x equals 10x times 2x squared plus 3x times x to the fourth plus 3x squared minus 2 all to the fourth power. And that is how you find the derivative of this function right here.